All right, guys. Um, I finally I got a hold of one of the Pistol X68s. Um, yeah, we don't have these yet in Canada, guys. Uh, I'm up north here in Canada, but uh, yeah, this one here specifically is from uh, MCS Defensive Innovation. This comes from those guys in the in the U.S. But in case you're all wondering now, as far as I know, this is the third one now that's come across, uh, made it across customs, no problems. So, um, on their website, they do have a video that shows it's 470 FPS. So it's Canada compliant under the 500 FPS law. Um, if you guys are confused about it being heavy projectiles and that's not right, well, just consider this. The Umarex Air Saber is... It shoots around a 30 gram projectile, which is an arrow, at same thing, 470 FPS. And that's calculated at about 270 joules. So, yes, we're still compliant in that. You don't need a license for. But anyways, I finally got myself one. Now, there's two different versions of these. Um, they're different names. They're pretty much the same markers. I mean... It seems that we've been seeing the ones from Mercury Rise. They're called the Intrabuster. And uh, those look like they're around 50 joules. And the ones I've seen with these ones are around 46, 45 joules. So I don't know if Mercury Rise done something different from the valves. But they no longer have them. They now have these. Mercury Rise now has these ones now because some legal issues. I don't know what's going on. But... All I know is you won't ever see those other ones again. The ones that come 50 jewels right out of the box. But we will be opening up these and uh, we'll be modifying them and down the road. But I've already opened mine up and connected the HPA to it. So all that stuff's going to be coming. I'll be showing out everything. Um, but first of all, I just want to tell you, uh, I think this marker's cool. It's it's 50 jewel pistol. Like, yeah, it's next best thing. But I'm also going to give my honest review about it too. And... Uh, First of all, I think it's quite ugly and bulky, but um, it's got some cool features. <clears throat> um, here it is here. It comes with the manual, the marker, the exact same degasser as Mercury Rise has on their um, torpedo revolver. I have about eight of these. I've ordered them from the company, from Mercury Rise, a long time ago. When they used to ship to Canada, they no longer ship to Canada. Um, but yeah, a lot of guys were nervous that these ain't going to make it, but so far, everyone that I'm aware of that has shipped, they've all made it across, no problems, no issues, so, I mean, they should, they're within their, our laws, so under 500 FPS, but anyways, yeah, it, um, I mean, it's, it's kind of like an FSC like a, I mean, it's a little bit more aerodynamic and stuff, like a little bit more sh chiseled, but it's still a big, bulky marker. And I'll show you. I mean, I tried concealing it, and I'll show you in the video here at the end that it's you can see it clear as day that I'm packing. So um, I'll try it with this. I never tried with the sweater, but I tried it with the t shirt. But if you're one of those guys that's wearing uh, the spandex, like you see today everywhere, then uh, the, <laughs> the skin tight. I mean, skin tight, then, yeah, you're not going to be able to stick one of these anywhere on you. But, uh, and, and not, you can, but you're going to, people are going to see it. I'll show you that after. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice middle top. Uh, it's got a solid, I don't know what that is, polymer, some type of really solid plastic design. And then, the, yeah, this top part here. Probably aluminum. I don't know if it's steel or aluminum. But, uh, yeah. It's also got the Picatinny rail underneath here. I see the barrel comes out. See, that's very odd. There's no threads down on this end. You got the threads right here. So, very odd. Um, I see these barrels are already being made. I'm going to make a version of my own, probably. I'm going to give it a go. I don't have a proper lathe, but I can still... I have a ghetto lathe I can use. <laughs> Just put it that way. I might invest in a lathe, but... 
I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to be testing this tomorrow, so um, we'll see later. I guess it's too late right now for me to be firing this off. I don't want to bug the neighbors. <clears throat> but yeah, or you can just take this one out and like you said, it goes straight up in. But that'll put your bottle like way down here. And this here, 360 is all the way around too, so it's, I mean, don't worry, this thing's new, we're going to be modifying, and another good thing here is, you're going to be able to put expansion caps here, um, I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing those down the road being made, probably some sort of stock connection maybe, it might go into there one day. I mean, if I had the machinery, I would definitely be building it too, but these things are new, and yeah, we'll see, but I'm going to give these a go. They're, uh, if you look at, um, these things are shooting, like, right around 45, 50 joules, like, even into the 55 joules. I've seen one come out of the box shoot, I think it was 56 joules, but then it went down really quick compared to all the other ones, but yeah, um... So far, I mean, yeah, this is the next best thing. Like, if you carry these around with you, then, yeah, they're actually, they're great for power-wise. I mean, 50 joules, and then I see, like, down your last shot, you're still within around the 40 range, the top 30s. Like, that's amazing, but that's something we've been waiting for forever. But I'm not going to lie, this thing is ugly, it's clunky, it's bulky. I mean, it's a bit better looking than all the other ones. It's better looking than the FSC, it's a little bit smaller, a little thinner. I mean, it's still big, but... Um, like up here in Canada, we can't conceal, you can, you're not allowed to conceal anything, so... A lot of people are going to like these just planking and stuff, and... Well, I don't really care for a holster. Like, I have holsters and stuff, but I got no use for them. Like, when I go in the yard and shoot or somewhere to wherever I go to a shooting place, then uh, I, I'm not walking around like Rambo. I usually have a table set up or something. But, uh, yeah, man, to the guys you conceal and carry, I don't know. I've stuck this in my belt waistline in a few different places all the way around with no holster. And my girlfriend was able to see it. Like, even me, yeah, I can look down. I can clearly see the bulging out. Um, I mean, if you put a holster in there, it's going to add a slightly li little bit more bulk to it, too. But, yeah, let me just bring it over and I'll show you. But don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not hating on you. I'm just telling you as I see it, as I call it. Um, personally, I, I love the thing. I, I can't wait to hook it up and test fire it on the HP. I got some Juo V2s. But here, I'm going to take this over and I'm going to do a little conceal test. <clears throat> So let me get this over and set up into the mount here. <clears throat> okay. So, let me just see where it is here. Like, yeah, look, I'm just going to... I got no holster, so... Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, no matter where you put it, I can tuck my stomach in. Uh, like, no matter where you try to stick it on your belt line, it's so visible. Very bulky, easy to spot. I mean, like, I know you're not going to be walking around with sticking it in your pants, chances are. I mean, you're going to have a holster, but even when you have a holster, it's going to kind of, it's going to add like a thin amount of bulk like onto it, so it's not going to do you any justice. I mean, I don't know. It's not my thing. You guys tell me what you think, but I mean, does it look like I, uh, <laughs> you can't tell what I got here? Or, <clears throat> you know something's there, obviously, but, uh. Yeah, then again, it's, yeah, I don't think it's possible to make a 50 drill marker that's concealable. I mean, if you have some bulky sweaters and jacket, here, let me try a sweater. <clears throat> yeah. 
Okay, I'll just slip this on here. <clears throat> So yeah, I got a pretty bulky sweater on. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, look, it's still bulging, right? Like no matter how you try to tuck it, it's still there. <clears throat> That's better than nothing, but uh, I mean, if you have a holster, it's probably gonna add some more bulk to it. But like, yeah, like you can, it's always there. <clears throat> like, I don't know, I can't see from here, the view, but it feels like I can see it. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, this is the Pestel X 68. Mercury Rise has them. I'm sorry, no, Mercury, yes, Mercury Rise has them. And MCS, I got this one from MCS. We'll be testing it out tomorrow, guys. Anyways, y'all take care, stay safe, and have fun. And it's about damn time. <laughs>